The research in my laboratory focuses on dysregulated microRNAs um, in Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophy. It's a really exciting time to be working in the muscular dystrophy field because there's many personalized therapies that are now coming online. I am Christopher Heyer. I'm an assistant professor here at Children's National and uh, George Washington University in Washington, D.C. And I'm Allison Fiorello. I'm also an assistant professor at Children's National and the George Washington University. And we have worked on muscular dystrophy in some form or another for going on 18 years now. We used CRISPR technology to develop this new, very first preclinical model of Becker muscular dystrophy that we can now use to develop drugs for the Becker muscular dystrophy patient population and also for boys with DMD. So this is the very first time that we've been able to recreate in the lab the muscle, heart, and molecular deficits that actually cause Becker muscular dystrophy. So now that we can actually recreate these in the lab, we can understand how they work and how to target them with new drugs. Becker muscular dystrophy patients are kind of an, an underserved population, again, because Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the, the sister disorder, is more severe. And because all of these therapies are converting a Duchenne and genotype into a Becker phenotype, Becker patients have not received the, the focus that, that they would have liked. Even to the point where when we've presented data before on Becker muscular dystrophy, we've had patients come up to us after the talk and, and want to contribute muscle biopsies just so they can have more research happening on their disease. Because we've now developed this free clinical model, we can move forward with more therapeutics, um, and I think this will kind of be a game changer for, for this patient population.